Okay, welcome to the first video on Autodesk's 123D design platform. Uh, in this first video, I'm going to just show uh, some really basic navigation features, how to move around the grid, and how to bring objects onto, uh, onto it. I call it the platform. Um, I think Autodesk labels it the grid, but you get the idea. It's the, the place where the objects are, are put. And so you'll see here that uh, it's got um, a bunch of squares. This is like a graph paper, um, and you can move around on it by holding down the right mouse button, the other mouse button, the one that you don't use as much. Um, and you can also choose your point of focus, and I'll talk a little bit more about that when we get started, so that you can rotate around a very specific object. Okay? You'll see that there are a bunch of tools or a bunch of buttons up at the top that uh, bring up a bunch of tools. And then you'll see that there are some more buttons off to the right uh, that are mostly for how to view um, how to view the platform or the grid. Okay, and then there's this uh, what looks like a little cube up here. And this cube, uh, really when you pick different spots on the cube, whether they be faces or edges or points, um, allow you to change the perspective from which you are looking. So I'm going to just go back to the front like that. Maybe at a bird's eye view like that. And we'll get started. Okay, uh, so the first thing you'll see up here that I want to call your attention to are the objects that you can bring on to the grid. Uh, this is called the uh, primitives section, and these are very basic shapes, such as a box, a sphere, a cylinder. So these are all what we call 3D objects, sort of ready to go. And then there's these 2D objects. These are two-dimensional column sketches. Uh, that will come out as a flat object onto the grid. So the minute I click on a box, um, the, what happens is a box is attached to my mouse automatically, and I can move along the, the, uh, the grid here to find a good place for it. And once I'm ready, I just click one more time, and that releases uh, my hold on, on the box. Uh, I have a scroll wheel on my mouse, and so as I scroll in and out, I can... Um, change the distance at which I'm viewing this square. And also that same scroll mouse, if I were to click on it, I could then pan. This is called panning from left to right. Okay, so scrolling in and out, if I push down that scroll button, I'm panning left to right. So that's how you um, bring an object onto the, onto the grid. And uh, you can rotate around it using your right mouse button. Okay. Now what's pretty interesting is even right now, like right there, you can see it's sort of a glare from a light source. So this is very, uh, this three, three dimensional environment is very um, realistic. Uh, and there's even uh, materials that you can place on top here. We'll get into those in future videos, but like you can make it look like wood or you can make it look like steel. Okay, so the bringing out of primitives to your uh, work surface is pretty simple. Again, just clicking up here, clicking once to select that object, and then bringing it out. Okay. And so I have the sphere, the block, and the cylinder out here up front. And uh, what, a couple of terms that I want you to get used to, um, we have what we call faces, we have edges, and we have points. And each one of those is represented in most shapes. Obviously, this just has a a face, it's a single face, but here we have this face as well, right? And this is the edge. And I think that's all I'm going to cover for this video. And when we come back, we'll look at how to take some of these um, shapes and manipulate them.